Welcome to the channel, Professor Da Vinci. A useful identity. We know that tan theta equals sin theta by cos theta. We know already tan theta equals sin theta by cos theta. If you take a right angle triangle, this is uh, the theta and the adjacent side is cos theta and opposite side is sin theta. What is adjacent? The next to the theta is adjacent and the far beyond is called the opposite and this length will be 1. So from, from the Pythagoras theorem, we know that adjacent square plus opposite square equals hypotenuse square. So, so let us give the name A, B, C. A, B square plus B, C square equals A, C square from the Pythagoras theorem. Meaning, A, B is cos square theta plus sin square theta equals 1. So, this is a useful identity. You need to keep this in the mind. Clear? So, now let's go for sample example exercise. Example, sin x equals 0 0.4. Find the possible value of cos x. Solution. From the identity, we know that say cos square theta plus sin square theta equals 1. Now, sin square theta, so already we have sin x. So, we can say this cos square theta equals 0 0.4 square equals 1. cos square theta oh sorry not theta it is x because already in the question it was given as x right so it is x cos square x sin square x cos square x sin square x equals 1 minus 0 0.4 square so 0 0.4 square is 16.16 cos square x equals 1 minus 0 0.16 which is equals 0 0.84 cos square x equals 0 0.84 cos x equals so plus or minus root of 0 0.84 so the square comes this side it becomes a root right why plus or minus because the root have the square root have square root have two solutions or the square function or we can say this the square function the square function always have always has two values so that is the one we say always plus or minus clear so this is the value of cos x if sin x equal 0.4 then the corresponding value of cos x equals plus or minus root 0 0.84 another example let us say example number two example number two show that cos theta divided by 1 minus sin theta equals 1 plus sin theta by cos theta. We need to show this side equals that side. So, let us say that the LHS left hand side. This is a left hand side and this one is a right hand side. Left hand side equals cos theta divided by 1 minus sin theta. Now, we need to make uh, the denominator as a cos right then here we need 
to eliminate this 1 minus sin x. So for that what we simply do, we just multiply, multiply 1 plus sin theta to the LHS, to the left hand side. So what will come? Cos theta divided by 1 minus sin theta into, I mean multiply and divide, okay, by both. If you want to do all LHS and RHS, then multiply with both the side. Now we are concerned only about the LHS, so multiply the value and divide the value so that you will give the same answer. So 1 plus sin theta divided by 1 plus sin theta, okay which equals how we can see how we can do this okay how we can do this let us say for example i have number five okay so adding any number adding number seven adding uh, minus seven will yield the same number right similarly if i have some number if i multiply with some random number say around 18 and so if I have one number 20 and uh, multiply by some number random number and divided by random number which cancel each other which gives the same answer as a 20 right the same thing we are doing here so multiply the value of uh, with the 1 plus sin x and divide the value by 1 plus sin x will yield the the same will yield the the same oh sorry will yield the same cos by sin clear so for that we have because why we need to do this one because on run on the right hand side it is the one minus sin x is eliminated is not available instead cos is there okay so for that we are doing this one now how you know how you know that to multiply and divide by one minus i mean one plus sin how you know by practice by practice we know by seeing the question we know that if you do like this this answer will come this is by practice right okay? now what is happening now after this uh, multiplication and this um, division of 1 plus uh, sin theta it will become cos theta product of cos theta 1 plus sin theta divided by 1 1 times of 1 plus 1 times of this multiply 1 with this one and 1 with this one multiply these two okay if you multiply these two what we'll get we'll we'll get this one 1 plus uh, sine theta minus c minus of sine into 1 minus sine theta minus sine theta into plus sine theta is minus sine square theta so which cancels each other this one and i mean this and this cancels each other finally we yield cos theta into one plus sine theta divided by one minus sine square theta so what is one minus sine square theta already we know that we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equals 1 cos square theta equals 1 minus sin square theta so what this equation will yield cos theta into 1 plus sin theta 1 plus sin theta divided by what is here cos square theta cos square theta cancels each other the square will go off and finally we yield 1 plus sin theta divided by cos theta clear now what is the cost of 1 plus sin theta that is the question what we have to prove so therefore therefore 
equals to equals to right hand side hence hence lhs equals rhs clear understand see you bye bye have a great day